What up internet, this is Chris coming at you from sunny South Florida. You're about to watch one of my math videos, so I just want to let you know that the technology I use in this video can also be used in a live online web meeting. What does that mean? That means whatever is on my screen you can also see on your screen. That means that we can talk to each other live at the same time. That means that while I do an example for you, you can ask me questions if you don't understand anything. This is just like having a one-on-one -on -one tutor, except even more effective because everything is being recorded. So later on in the week, if you forget anything that we covered, you can go back, watch the video, and refresh your memory. I deliver the material in a way that's very easy to understand, even if you hate math. So if you would like to schedule a me meeting, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. Once again, chris at mathmeeting.com. I hope you enjoy this video, and take care. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take the indefinite integral of a function um, using the basic method. Um, you're also going to learn later on um, how to integrate using u substitution. Um, however, uh, that is much more complicated, and you need to learn uh, the basic method um, first. So I'm going to teach you uh, integrating using the basic method, uh, which is really easy and, uh, and really quick. So uh, if you notice the procedure I wrote for you on the bottom left part of the screen, um, when integrating a function, uh, your first step um, is just add an exponent by 1, um, and then uh, divide by n plus 1, um, and then add c, which is a constant. Um, and this will make uh, much more sense to you once we get started uh, with this example. Um, as you can see, um, on the first example, it is uh, I want to integrate uh, 3x to the 6th power. The first thing I want to let you know is that the constant um, always uh, remains the same. Um, so in this function, you see the 3 uh, constant. Um, that does not affect uh, anything at all when we integrate a function. Um, so first, I'm just going to rewrite the constant and go on to our first step, which is add the exponent by 1. Um, so you see that we have x to the 6th, um, and when you integrate it, um, you add it by 1. And so now we have an x to the 7th. Um, moving on to step number two, we divide by n plus 1. And once again, our exponent was 6, and then we integrated, so we add 1, so we divide by 7. And on to our last step. Always for an indefinite integral, you add c at the end. It is an extremely important step that you have to remember. If you don't add c, then the answer is completely wrong. Um, so always remember to add c at the end. And to do that, all you have to do is write a plus c. And now we have taken the indefinite integral of the function. And I just want to let you know that 3x to the 7th over 7 um, can also be written as 3 sevenths x to the 7th like this. I just want to let you know that this is exactly the same as the first way um, that I wrote the answer, and both answers are completely acceptable. Um, so let's move on to another example. Here we need to integrate the function, which is a constant, which is just 5. Um, whenever you see a constant um, and you need to integrate it, the only thing you need to do um, is multiply it by x. Um, so the integral of 5 is just 5x. And then, of course, we can't forget our last step, which is just add c. Let's move on to our next example. Here we have the integral of 7 times square root of x. Now, how are we supposed to integrate this function um, if we don't see an exponent? And once again, if you remember to our rules from algebra, a square root uh, can always be written as a one-half exponent. Um, so instead of writing it as the integral of 7 times the square root of x, we can rewrite it as the integral of 7 to the x to the 1 half power. And now we have our exponent, um, so we can start our integration. So our step number 1 is add our exponent by 1. Um, so we have a 1 half exponent um, in our integral. Uh, so 1 half plus 1 um, is 3 over 2. Um, so first I'm just going to rewrite my constant, which is 7. And once again, 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. So instead of x to the 1 half, this could be x to the 3 over 2.
And step number two, divide by m plus one. So I'm just going to divide by one half plus one, which is just three over two. And finally, on to our last step is add our C. And always remember, don't forget to add on your C or else your answer is completely wrong. Now we've taken the indefinite integral. However, our answer is not in proper form. Uh, remember from algebra that you can never leave a fraction um, in the denominator. Um, so whenever you see a fraction in the denominator, um, it is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Uh, so instead of dividing by 3 over 2, um, you can multiply by 2 over 3. So first I'm going to write my 2 over 3. And instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply it by 7x to the 3 over 2. And we can never forget about our C. And we're almost done. You notice that the 2 thirds uh, can be multiplied uh, by the 7. Um, so 2 thirds times 7 equals 14 over 3. So our final answer is 14 over 3 times x to the 3 over 2. And once again, we can never forget about our C. And this is our final answer. So let's get started with our last example. Um, here we have the integral of 3x to the 6 plus 5 plus 7 times the square root of x. Um, notice how all the terms um, in this integral are exactly the same of previous examples uh, that I showed to you um, earlier in this video. And uh, the reason why I did that uh, was to show you um, that the basic method uh, for taking indefinite integrals um, can also be used uh, when you add terms together um, like this, like 3x to the 6 added with the 5 added with the 7 times the square root of x. So the integral of this function is just the integral of 3x to the 6th and we know from our previous example um, that that is 3 over 7 multiplied by x to the 7th plus the integral of 5, which from the previous example we know that's 5x, plus the integral of 7 times the square root of x. And once again, we know that from the previous example is just 14 over 3 times x to the 3 over 2. And once again, never forget to add your C at the end. So now we've integrated uh, this function, and you can see that the basic method of taking the indefinite integral um, can also be used uh, when the terms um, are added with each other. So that is how you take the indefinite integral of a function. Um, I hope this video uh, helped you understand things a little bit better. Um, if you liked my video and you enjoy my style of teaching, uh, please subscribe. Uh, to my YouTube channel, Math Meeting. Um, also, too, if you'd like to schedule a live online web meeting um, where I can give you live one-on-one -on -one help, um, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. Um, so enjoy the rest of my videos, and take care.